Alright guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of EI Entertainment Studios. My name is Eric and I'll be your host today. And I have some news that it's probably going to... Yeah, I don't know. It's a theory, but it's it, it really made me consider it, but... Um... It's... Not good for Godzilla fans. Good for Kong fans, but again, I don't think any aspect is really gonna change the fact that Godzilla is gonna win. But let's just get straight to the point. So I was actually watching Triassic Oh yeah, by the way, before I, I forget to say it, uh my source is from Triassic Iceman. So all credit goes to him for this theory. Um, I'm just working off of it, so I'll just put it I'll put his channel in the link below. Uh, anyway, so let's get started. So, you know, if you think about it, King Kong is a monkey. You know, as we saw from the newest uh, film adaptation, uh, Kong Skull Island, he had no special powers whatsoever. The only power he had is just his overall beast-like strength. And that's about it. Nothing really more than that. You know, he didn't have his lightning powers like he did in the old uh, King uh, Godzilla vs. King Kong movie. So, at first, before we all thought that he would have had that power, but it came out that he did. He has no power that has been revealed. He might have a new power in Godzilla vs. Kong in 2020, but. We're gonna be working off of facts that we know right now. He doesn't have any power. He uh, he doesn't have anything. So that's at it. And then on the other hand, Godzilla right here has many powers. Many powers. He has radiation, lightning strike. Oh, I'm saying lightning strike. My back. Mike the Kong thing got stuck in my mind. And the fire breath he has, which is actually very powerful, A.K.A. Um, the kiss of death. And he has this amazing tail string that I just did right there. That it could probably knock out almost anything it hits. And his massive size. And he's known as God, King of the Monsters, Godzilla. So he's pretty much an immortal beast, right? Now, what is left for Kong to be? Now, we do know that Kong is just a baby, right? Now, if Kong is just a baby, and he is going to be grown to size by the time Kong and Godzilla meet, however they meet, uh, we'll leave that to the director, the legendary. Now, what the theory is saying, and this is, it's kind of probably going to happen. I hope it doesn't. I mean, I mean, what challenge can Godzilla not take, right? I mean, he's going to beat him anyways, right? <laughs> right? Um, so Kong might actually be bigger than Godzilla. It's, and I'm not saying it's going to happen, it's just a theory. But Kong might actually be even bigger than Godzilla when he does grow to full size. Now, we did see in the scene of the Skull Crawlers where this theory might not be true because... So yeah, I am I am contradicting myself because again, I'm not confirming anything. I'm just saying I'm arguing, you know, I'm, I'm giving the possibilities. In the movie Skull Island from the Skull Crawler scene where they went to find Chapman, Chapman, um you we saw skeletons of Kong's parents or his ancestors. They didn't look that big, okay? They did not look that big. They didn't look even close to Godzilla. But again, as generations do grow, they do get taller and taller as you've learned in human physiology. It's possible to, it's, I don't know. But again, Kong is not human, so. I don't know. You know, guys, I still don't know. I, I just probably said one of the stupidest things there, so just don't, don't cuss me out for that. I don't know what the hell I just said. But. Yeah, but but it, it does make sense though. Out of everything, Kong has no superpowers. He has nothing. All he has is brutal size, and he might end up being bigger than Godzilla, which is um, 
interesting. I would like to see some mon fights between Godzilla and Kong. I would. I wonder how would Godzilla take him if Kong was bigger? Would he use his fire breath? Would he use? Would, but again, we have to know. We we have to put in fact that these two monsters are very smart. Godzilla was very smart in um, 2014, but he had no management of strength as he would fall. He would fall really, really quickly after each fight. He would be really tired. So that that is a disadvantage of Godzilla. As in for Kong. That guy is freaking, he's energetic, he's, he, I didn't see him get tired once in the movie, he was like, up and he was just fighting, 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 fighting. So, there is no way that I'm not gonna disapprove the fact that Kong is probably gonna beat the shit out of Godzilla, but at the end of the day, Godzilla should be coming out victorious out of that fight, because it's just impossible for an icon like Godzilla to lose to a monster like Kong, which I'm not saying anything negative about Kong. It's just that Godzilla is a bigger monster and just, if you think of it, it's his series. The monster first started with him and it's most probably going to end with him. So, you know, again, it's a 50-50, but I'm, I'm taking my chances with Godzilla as I always will because Come on, it's Godzilla, right? But we're going to have to wait and see. I'm 100% sure Kong is going to put a really good fight up with Godzilla. But if Kong does end up winning, which he is... There's no way. There is no way they're going to make Godzilla's. I mean, I even have my last episode, if you haven't seen it, proof um, that Godzilla will defeat Kong because I do have something to back up my theory is because Toho does give um, a contract to Legendary saying, you know, if you're gonna use my monster, you better make him the winner and he can't diminish, meaning he can't die. So, but I didn't, it's, I mean, we're talking about Godzilla here, guys, come on. I mean, look at this beast. So. But we're gonna have to wait and see. All we can do is wait and see. We, we can make arguments here and there non-stop, um, but we're gonna have to wait and see what happens. Uh, I'm taking, I'm putting my money on Godzilla. Uh, but I do really believe that they will make Kong huge because that is the only thing that Kong can be because he has no superpower. Godzilla has many powers standing on his side. Now what I think what's gonna left to be is brains in that fight. For, especially for Godzilla if Kong does end up being that big. No, it will be stupid if they add another monster. That's gonna be, I don't know. No, 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 no. I want to be strictly between Kong and and Godzilla just a fight maybe a monster could like be in the beginnings of the movie but I don't want a monster at all nothing to interfere with the fight I don't want them to team up which they're not or the director confirmed it but I don't want them to team up I don't want them to feel sympathy for each other I want them to go all out brutal like fight for the dead just kill each other that's what I want to see I want to see them just diminish each other but I better see Godzilla as the winner I will just walk out of the theater if I see Godzilla is going to lose. I mean, just, it's bullshit. But, again, you know, tell me what you think. Let's have a conversation about this. And, you know, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the support, guys. And, you know, as always, have a great day.